here's a way how you can install or frame on your Linux PC there's a multiple ways to do this but I choose this way so let's begin but before we start I should warn you that I didn't uh, I didn't have time to test this game for a long period and uh, I can confirm that on Ubuntu 14.04 it works uh, the x86 version uh, it started I rebooted the PC and it's still started so yeah the game works but again I didn't have a lot of time to test it so there is a risk that some some part might not work okay let's begin okay okay uh, first uh, to tools uh, let's first let's take a look at system requirements of Warframe uh, as you can see uh, here are the system requirements and you should have a better PC than this and uh, please make sure that you are using proprietary drivers for your uh, video card and if you have an Intel integrated video card the chances are that it won't work uh, because Intel integrated video card drivers and wine doesn't uh, don't work together too well so so that there's a big chance that Intel with the in integrated with the card won't work. And if you have an AMD or NVIDIA card, make sure that you are using proprietary drivers. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, memory, RAM. Uh, and I looked through internet and I found out that that's a problem. So what I found that when you are installing this game, you should have at least two gigabytes of RAM free when you start the installer. If you have hundred gigabytes of RAM and you have ninety nine gigabytes of copied of that RAM, this installer will show you uh, this message that you don't have enough memory. So make sure that when you start the installer, Warframe installer you have available of at least two gigabytes of RAM each at least two gigabytes of RAM should be free no matter if you have 10 gigabytes uh, of RAM 16 gigabytes of RAM you should have two at least two gigabytes of RAM free when you start the installer okay set out of the way let's start talk about installing well uh, generally you would download uh, use a Warframe from this and uh, you can download it but the download speeds are so horrible so bad that and the installer generally is a uh, very badly designed installer it has a crappy installer so I would recommend using a standalone installer and even though that it's this crap is written here I found it is much faster to install this way than just regular installer so click here and download all of these files and place them in a single folder just like I did as you can see all of these files are in this one folder and and then we're gonna start the installation okay so make sure to download this so download this 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 and throw them in one folder okay Main next thing we need to use is Play on Linux. Uh, Play on Linux makes managing Wine software so much easier. So go to playonlinux.com, download, and choose. Okay. Choose whatever version of the Linux distribution you need. I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download this file and install it. I already did. So let's close this and let some guy I should tell you that uh Play Linux and Wine HQ are the uh, fantastic projects that uh, made all of this possible. So support them. Without them we wouldn't be able to run Warframe on our Linuxes or other Wine software. So make sure that you 
support both of these projects. Okay, we don't need this, so let's close it and let's start playing Linux now. Start playing Linux. Uh, and first what we need to do is to create a wine prefix node first we need to download wine for that press tools manage wine option make sure that x86 is selected because 64 bit wine is uh, much more buggy so it might n it most probably will not work on x86 wine so make sure that x if 66 yeah, i'm the 64 bit it might not work on this wine make sure that 32 by bit wine is selected. I mean this wine, and I tested it with the latest wine version 1.9.3, and it worked. Select this and press this key. Next, I'm gonna pause the video and cut back after the download is complete. Okay, it completed it. Now let's close this window and let's create a Y prefix for that. Press configure new next 32 bit the wine we downloaded. Next, let's call whatever we want. I'll call it all frame or other phrase return. Next, and it's creating a wine prefix for us. Okay, and uh, we are gonna start the installer uh, really soon and the installer is crap very poorly designed installer it's always downloading stuff okay now let's select our created all uh, wine prefix and let's select miscellaneous let's run the next file and let's select this file that we downloaded gonna go desktop desktop here and that file we downloaded and open and if you don't have at least one gigabyte of or two gigabytes of RAM uh, free it will show you an error message uh, instead of this it will show you this message so uh, because I had uh, two gigabytes of RAM available it showed me this message okay press ok and it will start a horribly long download even though we downloaded 10 gigabytes of data it still now it will still now start as a huge download and if you wouldn't download uh, these files it would start some obscure downloads where it wouldn't even show you uh, the speed it's downloading with and the speeds were atrocious 500 kilobytes per second slower so anyway i'm gonna pause the video and come back after the uh, download is complete as you can see it's finished downloading but but i i wasn't looking so when it finished uh, the download process, the first download process, when it was showing actually the numbers and speed, it took another 10 minutes to download other stuff, updates or something, I don't know. But it was not showing any uh, minute seconds and download speeds anymore, but it was still downloading. Okay, as you can see, if you can press play, it will start, but uh, we shouldn't yet. So let's close this, close this, and let's create a uh, launcher to our launch our game, and uh, let's create a, a virtual desktop. For that, let's press uh, our wine prefix, press uh, wine, configure wine, uh, let's cr press graphics emulate virtual desktop i'm planning to run this game in 720p let's type 720p resolution and make sure to check automatically click capture mouse in full screen mode apply ok this will create a virtual desktop we need this big to avoid a lot of troubles with wine and 
tasks if we don't do it uh, and if you run a game in desktop native resolution most probably you won't have any problem but sometimes if problems happen so that's why I recommend you starting running the games in virtual uh, desktop mode okay in window it's basically in window mode so now let's create a uh, game shortcut or select all or frame general and make a new shortcut okay. oh, it's scanning for uh, files that it can create a shortcut out of let's select launcher exe next next and that's basically it oh you where's the launcher here it is and whenever you need to start the game you either double click here or start playing linux and start it from here and as you can see the game will start and we can play it Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe and support fantastic uh, projects like War, Wine, and Play and Linux. But before I go, uh, there are few things I should point out that. Uh, now as you can see the game started but let's quit it let's quit it okay let's start it again oh oh let's press this okay cog key and as you can see multi thread rendering oh some linux users say that by unchecking it you get better performance but I haven't tested it uh, I haven't tested it I don't know and you can uh, start a full screen you should press full screen here okay okay and start the game again that's it